back to our Slovakia and Austria series. If you haven't already seen the first two videos in the series, let's bring you up to date. We spent our first day in Slovakia's capital, Bratislava, exploring buildings old and new and trying local foods. On our second day, we took a day trip to Vienna to see a lot of very impressive buildings, try schnitzel and then cruised back to Bratislava along the Danube River. Today, we're leaving the capital city and heading into the foothills of the Carpathian mountain range to visit one of Slovakia's many beautiful castles. And as this is winemaking region and there's a new wine festival on this weekend, we'll be sampling some new wines and watching traditional dancing. So today we've left Bratislava to explore a bit more of Slovakia and we've come to the foothills of the Carpathian mountains. Um, Carpathian mountains actually a really big mountain range because it starts here in Slovakia and it goes through Poland and uh, part of Ukraine and it ends up in Romania so we've seen the other end of it in Romania so it's quite interesting. Um, so yeah we're here at um, Czerveni Kamen Castle which translates to Redstone Castle because it's built on redstone. So we're about to do the tour. We started off with a little, a little uh, welcome drink of honey wine, mead. Nice and warm. Nice, yeah warm wine. It's a bit chilly today, it's windy here um, in the mountains a bit higher up so it's quite fresh. Yeah, and I chose the wrong attire. Um, well, you're a tourist, you're allowed to look like a tourist. Yeah, and be cold. Yeah, so we're about to start the tour. Yeah. The original Gothic period castle was built around the year 1230 as a border castle between the Bohemian and Hungarian kingdoms by Queen Constance, who was the wife of a Bohemian king and daughter of a Hungarian king. But at the beginning of the 16th century, a rich German merchant family came here to mine for copper. They rebuilt the castle as a Renaissance fortress with large storage places for the copper. In the year 1583, they sold the castle to a Hungarian noble family called Palfi who lived there until 1945. The tour was in Slovak, but we had an English tour leaflet to follow along in. Also, we had our Slovak friends to translate for us. Which apparently comes from a story that they had a crash in the forest at night and they were, they were able to find out that if they had a crash they would have gone off a steep cliff. So apparently it was quite fashionable to have a cave in your castle because it would be a cool room. They obviously didn't have air conditioning in those days. So yeah, you have a cave that you can hang out in in the hot summer. See for weddings or yeah, that's quite nice. Feeling decorated very nice. What room is this? This is the Renaissance room. Renaissance room. Yeah. 
that's it. The pink parlor gets its name from the great pink fireplace made from Italian marble. There is a private room called Curatorium and the family members could go there and pray alone. Uh, peace and quiet. Yep. So is this the grand dining room? Mm -hmm. Just they found some paper. Yeah, what does you need to do? Men were just so focused on Exactly. Well, it's important. Well, being Unless you leave the room. Yeah. So you have to stay in here. Stay in here and you'll stay, stay forever, forever young. Yeah. What she said. the camera and watch my feet. <laughs> <laughs> you catch me falling. <laughs> you, can't, you won't catch me, but you'll catch yeah, me with the camera. No, catch me with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yeah. See the water moving. Mm -hmm. Close. They say that the cellars were not digged in the mountain, they were added uh -huh. to the castle. Nice place. I think my stick was long enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's nice there to hold. There are still some like things. Yeah, so there were different levels. Uh huh. Oh, nice. Yeah, the bakery. Oh, the.
Mighty Hulk. The Red Skull. Chilly again. <laughs> well, that is a big power plant. Oh. A big power plant. Are we okay. again? <laughs> so it's quite a difficult Yeah, you can't jump off it easily. Or there, you is, can there is one of our nickel power plants in the smoky distance. Yeah. Is it on fire? No. Cooling <laughs> towers. No. That's the secret. Uh, really kind of. We've come to a town called Pezenok in the heart of the winemaking region for a new wine festival that's taking place this weekend. Traditionally, these festivals were an annual opportunity for people to come and buy household items and clothing, which is why there are still many market stalls here today. It's also a chance to try local foods. And of course, wine. So this is uh, called Gurchak, it's new wine. And it's very sweet and fruity. It's kind of just like juice, isn't it? It's angry. What do you think of the red one? I like it because I like sangria, but the other one, the other one's more palate pure. You could drink it more. Best you could have white coffee. It's like, too sweet. Yeah, it's like, drink, it's like drinking candy. Sweet. Uh -huh. I can help you hold it. Mm, really 
think you got a particularly crunchy one. I think I did. Yeah, I'm just trying this coffee seed cake. I think it's like quite a traditional Slovakian thing to have coffee seed. So I haven't actually tried anything coffee seed this weekend, so I got last chance to try. And I got some gluten-free cookies at the duty free. So I think I have that with my espresso. Mm. They're good. Yeah, it's like the seed is all completely made into kind of a creamy. Mm. So it's not really, it doesn't taste like seed. Exactly, it's just quite smooth and it's like a filling. Is it quite sweet though? Yeah, it's sweet. Very sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. Kind of crumble on the top. So we're just waiting, we're at gate 11. Fly at what, 10.45? Mm -hmm. Looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. So, we're going home. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on our Slovakia trip. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. We're on our way home to Edinburgh now. That's it from us for 2022. We hope to see you again next year. We're starting off 2023 with our biggest adventure yet. So subscribe and keep an eye out for our next video series starting in February.